we had this storm in the UK, Storm Aisha, I think it was called, something like that. And one of the many storms we have, you don't have here in Dubai. And it was a Monday morning. And I thought to myself, what can I do to ride off the back of this storm to, this storm to, to make news? And I live in the country, so trees coming down and so on. It was, it was quite dangerous, you know, schools were shut and things like that. So I thought I'd use my profile to, to do a bit of a warning. And, and I know to go viral, I need to be hated on. So for Christmas, I bought my wife a new Ferrari F8. You know, it's just relative to what I do. I work hard. She works hard. She puts up with my 24-7 working and my crazy ambition. And for what the hell? And that story went out on my Instagram. The media followed my Instagram. And they made a big deal out of it because there's not many people that buy their wife's Ferraris for Christmas Day. And that went wild. It's a yellow Ferrari F8. And I, I knew it'd work, that story. And then that, that went on for some time. But Fox News, CNN, America went all over the world. So on this storm day, I thought, what would people really want? They would want, cause when you look at the comment section, and you, and you shouldn't do this because it will drive you insane, but when you do look at it, they're like, oh, I can't wait to see when Matt Fides gets hit, stuck in the tree, and we hear he's dead, and or when his wife gets crushed with, with that car or something like that. You know, So that's what they're looking for. So I got electric gates in my house, and on that particular Monday morning, I had electricians up there changing all the light bulbs in the, in the house. And I said to the guys, I said, guys, I know it's windy outside, but what would it take for you to disengage those electric gates? He said, oh, it would be difficult. And they went down with a spanner thing and they released them. I said, cool. So well, you've got your electric logo in the background, back up. And I told my wife to get in the, the Ferrari F8 and go inside the gates. We pulled the gates to up against the Ferrari. And I told my wife to put her hands like that in her head and I did the same for the photo and I had the electrician looking like they're forcing the gates and I got someone the nanny to take a picture of us at the gates got the picture I wanted which is the Ferrari yellow brand new F8 Christmas present stuck in electric gates wife looks upset so on and then I go back into my living room I designed the Instagram post be careful out there storm ice's bad trees are coming down my gates failed this morning crushed my Ferrari F8 probably 50,000 pounds worth of damage but my wife's okay. That's all that matters. Stay safe. Hit the button, bang, with the picture. And then two hours later, it was huge. By the following day, I was on stage a conference in London and I got whispered in my ear that my story that I created was the third biggest story in the international news. Bigger than the Israel war and everything. Because people love to hate on the Ferrari, the beautiful wife, the multi-millionaire at 44, they remember the Christmas day and they're thinking, screw you, you know, but they fell right into my trap. And like you said, all the negative comments were going and going and going and going and going. And that story went all around the world, Australia, America, everywhere. And, and we just played on it. And all I did is hit the Ferrari in the garage for a couple of weeks. And, so. and, and when you get a story like that, that goes viral, that you've kind of created in, 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 in whatever way, how are you monetizing the tension on the back of that? And how do you measure the monetization on the back of that? Good question. So that, that story basically paid for the Ferrari. So those people hating on me, unbeknown to them, they're actually making me, they're paying for the Ferrari for me. So that Ferrari cost me, what, 340000 or something. I had literally hundreds of thousands of hits, people searching my name on Google. The first thing they're going to find is my social media account, my businesses, my property businesses, my franchise businesses, and they're driving clients. So it don't take a lot for you to make 300K back over a course of two or three weeks publicity, especially when you, you're, that, you're like number three on the mail online top store. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? It's not even a story, is it? But that's the way it works. And it just gets duplicated, duplicated, duplicated. So the monetization comes from the traffic that is sent from people just Googling your name, put your name in Instagram, and they find in all your products and services. So you've got to have a balance too. Now, the media aren't stupid. They know that's staged because they're like, where's the damage to the car? They don't even ask you for the damage. They know, but it's a win-win relationship. Quick one for you guys. This podcast is sponsored by contentremover.com. As many of you are probably aware, I set up contentremoval.com in 2017 to help people remove all forms of online content. And I've looked after some of the biggest names and brands in the world doing it. And I would love to help you if you're struggling. If you're struggling to remove images, videos, search results, fake accounts, or anything online, go to contentremover.com and we'll help you today.